today's video, I'm going to be going over my top 5 favorite operating systems for the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to start from number 5 and make my way down slowly. I'll be going over the pluses and minuses of each of these desktops and really just what they do well and what they don't do so well. Alrighty, so in fifth place, I actually have FidoS. So FidoS is a really unique operating system for the Raspberry Pi because it's Chromium OS basically, and Chromium OS has the ability to run Linux apps because you can install Linux on here with the Linux terminal. It can run all Linux apps, but it can run a good majority of them. And it can also run Android apps using the Google Play Store. You can actually enable that from the settings. So it's really unique to have all three worlds on the same operating system. It's just a really cool thing to have on your desktop and this operating system really does perform incredibly well and the web browser is one of the best web browser performance I have ever seen on the Raspberry Pi including video playback. So if you're the type of person that really wants good video playback, like really good video playback, and you're more web browser centric, this just show is really for you because you can have amazing video playback and your web browser is just going to be so responsive. It's going to be some of the best web browsing performance you have ever seen on the Raspberry Pi. Because if you like to, if you use like Google Meet or you or just use Google Docs and stuff like that, this just show really is for you because it is amazing. But some of the cons of using this, you can't install all Linux apps like Raspberry Pi OS or other Linux distros, and you are missing out on some of the updates and stuff like that. And this is a Chinese distro, so if you're worried about tracking and security issues, this may be a bit, little bit of a problem for you. But overall, Fido OS is a really unique distro for the Raspberry Pi because having the ability to run all these different types of applications and amazing web browsing performance while video playback that can literally play 1080p without losing any frames is just a really amazing thing. So yeah, this is Fido West on the Raspberry Pi and this is why I put it in this list because it is really unique and it performs incredibly well. So this is Fido West. So, in fourth place, I actually have Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Mate is a really nice 64-bit operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. It performs incredibly well, it's super snappy, but as you can tell, it honestly does not look the most modern. That is one of the cons because a lot of people don't really enjoy this type of desktop look because it does look outdated. It doesn't look beautiful, and it just does not look like a good operating system for the 2021s. But overall, it performs incredibly well, and let's take a look at the h -sharp real fast. So the system resource usage is a bit higher than I would like. It's almost 700 megabytes, so Raspberry Pi OS, other distros do use a lot less than that. So that is why one of the cons of Ubuntu Mate it is a bit high on the RAM usage. But Overall, it's a really nice operating system with a nice web browser, everything is incredibly snappy, and you have the nice Ubuntu repositories. So it looks not the greatest, it feels pretty good because everything is incredibly snappy. We have this really awesome menu on the left right here that we can search for anything we want. And the main desktop environment is honestly a really nice desktop environment. It really has all the essentials. It comes pre-installed with a nice app store and you really can do most anything that you would want to do on a modern operating system. So web browsing, let's take a look at some web browsing. and. So web browsing is pretty snappy on here, considering that this is just a Raspberry Pi 4, and I am using Mozilla Firefox right now. But yeah, so let's close out of here. And so overall, you see Ubuntu Mate speed, web browsing is amazing, YouTube video playback honestly is also really good, and it's just a really incredible distro. Type in NeoFetch right here. So you can see I am running this on the Ubuntu 20.10 right now right now and it is feeling pretty good you see Ubuntu 21.10 a 64 operating system and on the video playback is also incredibly well on this just row as web browsing and everything else is so let's open up the 720 video right here and yeah so right now we're at 720p and the video let's look it should be playing pretty good I mean not much screen tearing and it does look pretty well. So Ubuntu Mate is a really nice unique distro for the Raspberry Pi just as Chrome OS, Fido OS was 
but this distro is full on Linux. So you will have more Linux app support. You can run more applications that you want. And it's just better, a better distro for people who are more advanced users and want to do more stuff than just use web browsing. So that is why Ubuntu Mate is a very nice developed, not very modern looking, but overall nice looking and has all the applications you need you can install video editors gaming it's better for all those type of things but overall ubuntu mate is amazing Alrighty, so in third place, I have Manjaro Arm, the XFC edition. This operating system really just is such an amazing distro for the Raspberry Pi. It performs so well, and while still looking incredibly modern, this looks more modern than than Ubuntu Mate and Fido S. It looks really good, and it feels the same way. This distro just blows my mind in how good it performs, and it, it's so professional. The Manjaro Arm team really does an amazing job with their distros, making them look as professional as possible while still keeping the awesome performance so right here we have htop and on a fresh boot i am only using 600 megabytes of ram this is honestly pretty good for a linux distro on the raspberry pi while still looking incredibly well we do have some transparency effects and it just looks really well and our NeoFetch right here is still the XFC edition. I'm running the latest version, and it is just amazing. I always have an amazing experience with this because we have these nice desktop switchers on the bottom right here. It really helps you helps that workflow, and I really like the date right here. It looks really cool, and our menu right here really resembles Windows 10 while still having these really nice effects and looking really good. Anything I search really shows up, and it just looks amazing. I can search file manager and it automatically loans up. I also really love the add or move software on Manjaro. It is a really nice app store. It's probably one of my favorite and it's an arch based distro. So all these applications do work on here and it's just a really nice intuitive package manager. It looks really good and it gives us a lot of information and you can easily install it. So this package manager is really amazing. And web browsing on this distro is amazing. All the Manjaro distros that I have ever tested on my Raspberry Pi, even the more heavier ones like KD, GNOME, they are, their web browsing is always amazing. They somehow get it so well that all the web browsing is incredibly smooth, video playback is the same way, and it just it works incredibly well. Now here I just typed in Pi4 right here, we go over to the Raspberry Pi website, well, I can't find that right now, but right here, like we just click on this website and it immediately loads up and the web browsing is incredibly smooth. Loading speeds are nice if you have good internet, of course, and it just works really well. So web browsing is just amazing on Manjaro XFC. They have done an amazing job and same with video playback. Video playback as well. 720p videos can play on here without dropping many frames whatsoever, which is actually really rare for the Raspberry Pi. And it just, it's a really nice, a looking distro while performing exactly the same way. I mean, video playback, as you see right here, our terminal emulator also looks really good and it just looks a lot more modern than most XFC distros. That is just one of my reasons why I really enjoy using this on my Raspberry Pi. So yeah, this is Manjaro XFC on the Raspberry Pi 4. It is one of my favorite distros and I run it as a daily operating system a lot of times on my Raspberry Pi just because of the amazing performance and looks. And yeah, this is Manjaro XFC. So here on second place, I have Twister OS. Twister OS is really a very unique distro, and there is nothing like this for the Raspberry Pi 4. It's a really nice distro for beginners, advanced users, and middle. It's good for everyone, and it has so many amazing features. It comes pre-installed with tons of applications. There are so many themes in here. It is just amazing. And if you're a, normally a Mac OS user, a Windows 10 user, a Windows 7 user, an XP user, you can feel at home here because there are themes for everything. It really looks amazing. There are Mac OS Big Sur themes, there are Mac OS Catalina themes, there are Twister 10, Twister 7, XP95, and their own default theme. It is really, truly an amazing distro, and it comes pre-installed with the amazing Box86 and Wine tools, which are some of my favorite applications. So it really is just an amazing distro, and there's really nothing like this for the Raspberry Pi. 
And on a fresh boot right now, I'm using about 300 megabytes of RAM. To think I have all these applications, all these things pre-installed, and I am only using 380 megabytes of RAM. That is truly an amazing statement. Because you'd think a heavy operating system like this would be using a lot of RAM. No, no. This thing uses just a little bit of RAM. It is really unique and amazing. In our NeoFetch right here, we have the normal Twister OS logo. And this is based on 32-bit Raspbian, which is really an amazing distro. And yeah, so this is using the XFC desktop environment, and Twister OS really is packed with unexpected features. We have a nice software center right here, we have our terminal, we have mail, and then we really have just everything that we want. I really like this Twister menu right here, it looks really cool, and we have all our applications we can e easily access. And since this is Raspberry Pi OS, we have access to all the same amount of software as the normal Raspberry Pi OS, as do the web browser. The web browser still is really good performance, and it looks good too. So we type in Pi 4 right here, and you see it loads up pretty much instantly, while still keeping the awesome performance, and it's really smooth web browsing just like every distro I've talked about today but Chromium OS probably still is on the top in terms of web browsing and YouTube performance and now to go over to some YouTube video and see how the video playback actually ends up being on this distro so here we have Big Buck Bunny right here just make that bigger and we'll just play the 720p video real fast and then we can actually open up a terminal on the left right here and yeah, so right here we have our terminal running HTOP, and we are with the video playing, we are using about 800 megabytes of RAM. Not that bad to, to be considered. And yeah, so this is Twister OS on the Raspberry Pi. It is truly a unique dish, or like I said before, there's so much possibilities, there are so much theming, and this dish basically has everything you need pre installed. It is truly amazing that you have everything you need pre installed, and it's amazing looking, and it is just awesome. That is why I love Twister OS. And yeah, in first place, of course, I have Raspberry Pi OS. Raspberry Pi OS is really, in my opinion, the best operating system you can run on the Raspberry Pi. It's made by the Raspberry Pi organization, which creates the Raspberry Pi. So they know their device, and they know what's best for it. So they really have optimized it the best they possibly can. And it's just the best distro for beginners to help them learn. For advanced users, it really is the best distro available. It works so well. It's so snappy and it really is amazing like on fresh idle i am only using 100 megabytes of ram out of all the operating systems i have talked today this is the least ram usage it is really amazing to see this little ram usage with this amazing performance and it overall it doesn't look the most modern it looks more like a kid operating system in my opinion but it's really easy to change and it really is amazing it's an amazing distro raspberry pi os is the best operating system for the raspberry pi Everything works really well with my Raspberry Pi logo right here, and I am running the 32-bit version. The 64-bit version is also pretty good, but in my opinion, it is not the best version. The 32-bit still is the king because it has the most app support, and this version really does. Most any app that you're going to want to run on your Raspberry Pi does support Raspberry Pi OS because it is the main distro. Web browsing is also incredibly smooth, and it is really just an amazing distro. Like we just search for Raspberry Pi org right here, it loads right up, and the web browsing is incredibly smooth, much smoother than most any other disk drive tests today, maybe with an exception of Fido S. But yeah, this is the web browsing, it is incredibly smooth, we can op open up lots of tabs, and it really is awesome. Web video playback as well is pretty good on here, but like I said, nothing can, get, can beat the web browsing and video playback of Fido S. Really just nothing can, they are really the king on the top right there, but in terms of other app support, performance, and stuff like that, Raspberry Pi OS is still the king. In the 720p video, it is running pretty well. Well, right now it's at 480, up that to 720, and it still is very good performance, and it's definitely watchable. With There are still some frame skips, but overall, it's a pretty good video playback, and you can see a bit of screen tearing, but it still is really good performance. So yeah, this is why Raspberry Pi OS is just on the top of my list, due to app support, good desktop, low RAM usage, awesome support for the Raspberry Pi, and everything just works incredibly snappy. And this is why Raspberry Pi OS is my favorite operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. 
And yeah, so to conclude this video, there are a lot of amazing destroyers that can run on this little guy right here. This guy is incredibly powerful, and this thing has so many, so much potential, and there are so many amazing destroyers that can run on this thing. And the ones that I mentioned are only a few of them. There are a lot more that can run on this device, but I just didn't feel like they were the best. But this is this was my personal preference, and you guys might have different preferences. So let me know down below in the comments what destroyers you think are the best for the Raspberry Pi, or if you agree with the ones that I picked. And yeah, it would be amazing if you could subscribe and thanks for watching.